So here we're going to find the vertex of a parabola using the vertex formula, and that vertex formula is up here in red. So when we're given this equation here, we first want to write it in standard form, um, and this one actually already is in standard form. You can tell because the y's on one side and the x's are on the other side. Also, the x's are in the order from the biggest exponent to the smallest, and the constant, just the regular number, is on the side with whatever is squared. The last thing to notice is that there is no coefficient in front of the other variable. So it's just like y equals whatever you put in for x and solve on the right. So no number should be in front of the other variable that is not squared. So once it's in standard form, we're gonna write our vertex formula, but now we know since the x is what's being squared, that the vertex formula is gonna be finding the x coordinate. If the y was the one that was squared, the vertex formula would be finding the y coordinate. So in order to use this to find the x coordinate of our vertex, we need to substitute in a and b. Now, a is what is in front of the x squared. So in this case, a is one. And the b is what's in front of the x. So b is positive two. So I'm gonna substitute those into my formula. So I have x equals negative two over two times one. So two times one is two, so it's negative two over two, which is negative one. So we now know the vertex have, has an x-coordinate of negative one. So we just wanna find our y-coordinate. So we want to find the y-coordinate for this equation when x is negative one. So what we're gonna do is use that equation we know. This is gonna tell us whatever y is when we put whatever in for x. So in this case, we want to put negative one in for x. So negative one squared plus two times negative one, minus three. And then you solve that. And we see that that is negative four. So when x is negative one, y is negative four, this would be your vertex. I'm gonna go over one that's a little trickier here and similar to a problem on your assignment. So this one, notice, it's not in standard form. The x's and y's are on different sides. So first step, you wanna move your, um, we'll just leave our y's over here on the left. But let's move that minus 5x to the other side by adding 5x to both sides. Now remember, we want the constant over on the side where our square is, so let's move that plus five to the other side by subtracting five. And then the last step, we want this to be equal to x, so we need to get rid of that five. To do that, I'm going to divide by five, and I have to divide all of this by five. And it gets a little messy, we have a fraction, so this is one-fifth, y squared minus 2y minus 1 equals x. So now for our vertex formula, what is being squared is the y. So our vertex formula is going to find the y coordinate of our vertex. And now we just need to substitute in the a and b Remember the a is what's in front of the square, so a is one-fifth, and the b is what's in front of just the y, so b is negative two. So I'm gonna substitute those in. So we have negative, and our b is negative two, and then the denominator would be two times one-fifth. So if we start simplifying this, you can just put this in your calculator if you want. Negative, negative becomes a positive. So it's two divided by two fifths. Just gonna show you how to do this by hand without a calculator, 
when you're dividing fractions, you change it to multiplying by keep, change, flip. So two divided by two fifths would be two times five halves, which when you multiply that, you would get five. So we just found out that the Y coordinate of our vertex is five. Now we can use that to see what X is. Remember right here is our equation after we put it in um, standard form. So we found out that one fifth y squared minus two times y minus one will give us the x. So if we put five in for y, we get one fifth five squared minus two times five minus one equals x. Now, five squared is 25, so one-fifth times 25, two times five is 10, minus one equals x. And then one-fifth times 25 is five, minus 10, minus one. And when we do that, we get negative 11 plus five would be negative six. So when we put five in for y, the x-coordinate is negative six. This would be your vertex.